NFL Week 6 questions and takeaways. This is from ESPN.com. Did the Browns find a running game they can build on despite losing Jerome Ford to a hamstring injury? They ran for 100 yards for the third time, averaged four yards per carry. Nick Chubb's looming return. Can the Browns lean into their ground game? Eye-popping stat, and this one's scary. Browns have been unsuccessful on their past 26 third down attempts with Deshaun Watson at quarterback midway through the second half. They converted back-to-back third downs at the end of the third quarter, start of the fourth. Describe the game in two words, missed opportunities. Browns got great effort from their defense and special teams with chance to score a game-tying game. Penalties surfaced again. the, The defense, they were all right. They didn't get the ball back at the end of the game. I mean, this is a total team meltdown. Um, I, I don't think you can say, well, the defense is playing great. At one and five, they're doing what bad football teams do, making mistakes and, and not making enough plays. You know, what bad football teams do is they find ways to lose. And unfortunately, the story that good teams, we were a good team last year. We found ways to win. That's not the case this year. We're a bad team. Every time the opportunity presents itself in our face, um, it's a penalty or or a holding call or we're not a missed assignment or too many guys in the huddle or whatever the case may be. You just find ways to lose. And, you know, you mentioned the, the that abysmal third down stat. You know, you don't do yourself any service when you're putting yourself behind the chains 12 yards. I mean, you start out at first and 10 and you're averaging third and 11 and third and 12. That's a recipe for, uh, you know, disaster in itself. So can you lean on the run game? They should have never stopped leaning off the run game. They've been showing us and foreshadowing this for, you know, the past couple years now that they wanted to air the ball out 35, 45 times a game. And unfortunately, it's costing us because the strong suit that this team has always been has been the run game. And the fact that they're not leaning on it when you're one and five, it puzzles me, man. Yeah, and I'm with you. The other thing it does is you are no longer the physical team that you were because you don't run. How do you get physical? You run the football and you get guys pushing people yeah. around. They don't do that anymore, so they're getting out physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you get you're putting the defense. You're putting the defense and the offense behind the eight ball, and you're giving the defense, the opposing team, the opportunity to just tear you apart. I mean, the last thing, the biggest thing that I take away from that inside the five yard uh, yard line play when we were at the eight. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, you're, you're in a third down, fourth down opportunity in an empty set, five spread, and you know you're going to get blitzed. When and out of all these games, do you not know that the teams aren't going to blitz you on third and fourth down? They've been doing it on a consistent basis. So we there have been across the board opportunities that we have not been put in to win, and that's what we need to change. Like, at least give us the opportunity to go out there and win.